A crucial measure announced in Tuesday's BC budget has nothing to do with government spending. Finance Minister Mike DeYoung announced that government will now collect information on the citizenship of home buyers. Province reporter Sam Cooper is on the story. Sam, what does the move mean? Right, so the government has been under pressure for a long time on why Canada, BC specifically, doesn't collect data on foreign ownership. Of course, many critics uh, uh, look at real estate sales recently and, and posit that foreign buyers are driving price increases. So the government in the budget, I guess, has responded to pressure and said, let's go back to the 1998 rules where we did collect data on the citizenships of buyers. We're, they're also proposing that uh, directors of corporations who before did not have to disclose their citizenship will have to be identified. And um, a so-called loophole called bear trusts will also have to disclose more information about buyers. All of this aimed at not restricting foreign ownership yet, but collecting more data on it to judge if there is an issue here. Uh, what does it mean? The government was asked, will you go ahead and restrict uh, ownership from offshore if we see a problem? They said, hey, hey, not, not so quick. We just want to see what's going on first, and this data will be publicly, publicly accessible. Another move announced by government today was to shift the tax burden uh, from your average home buyer to luxury homeowners uh, purchasing property over $2 million. Sam, what do you make of the move? So this is a very modest tax shift from uh, people that are buying homes. People that are buying homes that cost more than $2 million will be paying an extra percent on their property transfer tax, up to 3%, and the revenue that comes from that will be shifted off people who are buying homes under $750,000. That is just new homes. So the government wants to increase the supply of new moderately uh, priced, which I don't know if uh, 750000 is moderately mm. priced, maybe in BC, but they say we want to increase the supply, get more families with the ability to get into the market and take advantage of uh, price rises in BC. Okay. For more on Vancouver's hot real estate market, you can follow Sam Cooper on Twitter, at Scooper Cooper.